Now my mom came for Thanksgiving. She loves to come here all the time. And then when the fires were happening, she kept asking me, are you near the fires? Every day, are you near the fires? No, I'm not near the fires. She would call me again. Are you near the fires? No, I'm not near the fires. And then I was began to wonder, am I near the fires? <laughs> Do you want me to be near the fire? She's trying to kill me. Now she's here. Well, I'm glad the year's almost over. I had a horrible year. It started around gay pride. Did you guys go to gay pride? I couldn't go. I was, I'm under a conservatorship. But um, my husband, my husband never came home from gay pride. <laughs> I guess he liked what he saw out there. <laughs> Maybe you've seen him, he was wearing a fuchsia Andrew Christian Speedo and um, Mardi Gras beads. Did you see him? <laughs> Maybe he's here. Reinhold? <laughs> Reinhold, are you here? <laughs> now I gotta go on dates and dating in Los Angeles is so difficult. The closest I get to a date in LA is when I order a lift. Nobody cares more about my life than the Lyft driver. So many questions. What do you do? Where are you from? Why are you crying? Because my husband's missing! Reinhold! Oh, my husband. And it wasn't a perfect marriage. It wasn't a perfect marriage. One day he said, look, I bought you a new home. And then he drove me to the zoo and said, welcome home. But I loved him because he was my husband. And now he's gonna get caught in that rain tonight. You know that's gonna rain tonight. It's gonna destroy LA. <laughs> uh, God, whatever. I just wanna find a man that loves me the way Ariana Grande loves that ponytail. Committed! <laughs> I wanna find a man that watches that TV show, This Is Us, and he cries while he watches it and I laugh at him. <laughs> oh, my husband. Oh God, I did do that speed dating. Did you guys ever do that speed dating? Yeah, you go around the room and have to like shake everyone's hand and talk to them. Well, there's one guy there named Milton and the whole time he's just dipping tater tots in the chipotle sauce with his hands. And then going around the room and shaking everyone's hands. Disgusting. He fucked me. You gotta do what you gotta do, but I won't eat tater tots. No, I do. I believe I can find a man with this voice. I do. I'm a good catch. I'm like a Versace Medusa that's pre cunan and pre murder. A witch, oligarch. My husband bought this for me. I hold. No, I do like to have my me time. If anybody needs to have time to themselves, I recommend going to Staples. Nobody's there. Nobody works down. I have to wander around the staples and just knock over loose leaf paper and breathe. Uh, I have a confession to make though. I have a confession to make. Um, I was the one that pitched the idea that Julia Roberts should play with um, Harry and Tumblr. Do you guys hear about that? Well, that was my idea. And, um, I still think it's a good idea. Julia Roberts is Harriet Tubman. Hollywood's stupid. I have another good idea. How about Sandra Bullock as Rosa Parks? She's an Academy Award actress and she has experience with performing on the bus and speed. Sandra Bullock as Rosa Parks. Whatever. Who are we gonna vote for? Are we still voting? Are we, are we supposed to vote today? Why are we still voting? I think we're making it work. Is it fun? Stop voting. I'm not voting anymore. Last time I voted Fantasia, well, what could that do me? Who are we gonna vote for? I like, um, the, what's her name? The Sorceress. What's her name? Marianne Williamson. No, yes, Marianne Williamson. I want the Sorceress to win. The Sorceress of the United States of America. I love her. I met her and she told me all the secrets of Castle Grayskull. <laughs> Do you know after midnight she transforms into a beautiful falcon named Zor? <laughs> Red tailed! Gorgeous French, French tipped falcon. Falcons. Falcons. Oh, I love her. 
that lover, she can, she can, she can take care of health care. She can take care of health care. You know what's better than health care? Apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Oh, I love apple cider vinegar. You can cure anything. Dry eyes, apple cider vinegar, gout, apple cider vinegar, Munchausen by proxy. I got rid of my Munchausen by silver touch of the proxy. Maybe that's why my husband left me. Anyway, you know, it's time to buy Christmas gifts, and I think everybody would, I would love to buy this gorgeous Princess Diana the Musical tote bag. Yes, it's going to Broadway in the spring. And I starred in La Jolla, and wouldn't you want to have these sad eyes looking at you at the end of the year? Look how gorgeous this is! Oh, I love the musical. And my favorite part of the musical is she gives birth to Prince Harry, hands the baby over to Prince Charles, slashes her wrist, and says, I'm sad! <laughs> oh, honey! Go to Broadway and see Princess Diana the musical. I love Princess Diana. Do you guys think Meghan Markle's the next Princess Diana? No! <laughs> No, she's not, honey, crying about it. Why hasn't nobody asked me if I'm okay? Nobody asked Princess Diana if she was okay. She just threw herself down the flight of stairs. <laughs> I love her son. She was my girl. She was always doing something crazy. She was walking through landmine fields, such as AIDS victims, leprosy victims. She wanted to die. <laughs> oh, please, what would you rather do? Get fucked by Prince Charles or walk through a landmine field? Landmine field. <laughs> Oh, uh, look how gorgeous these eyes. I don't know. I, I'm gonna go because I, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna go to. Um, I have a part I'm going to the unfinished Target on Sunset and Western. <laughs> You're all welcome to go there. It's a fundraiser for Marion Williamson. But listen, um, happy holidays. <laughs>